Wakar now he came to the court, he told the interpretation of the vision to the king. Wakar al Malikotuni bihi. Now he said, Bring that person to me. He seems to be very wise. Falamma ja ahur rasul. But when you know the messenger from the king came to Yusuf, Kala irdiya ila rabbik. He said, Go back to your king, to your master, to your lord. Fasalhu. And ask him, Ma balun niswatillati katana idea hunna. What about the women who cut their hands? I was blamed for that. I was imprisoned for that. Without the charge being proved against me. But at least that was said, you know, to be the case. So unless I am, you know, absolved and, you know, I am honorably acquitted of that charge, I am not ready to go get out of this prison. In the Rabbi Bikadihinna Alim, verily, my Lord knows about their machinations, whatever they did. I, I didn't do anything wrong. Now the king gathered all of them and he asked them, What was the matter with you when you solicited and you wanted to and tried to seduce Yusuf? They said, By Allah, be blameless. We don't know, we have no knowledge of anything evil about him. Qalat Imratul Aziz, and now the wife of that chief minister or the chief executive officer, he, he spoke out. Now that the truth has come out, I confess that I was trying to seduce him. And he is absolutely, he is true, he was not a sinner. Now about these two ayat, following two ayat, there is very any difference of opinion as to who said these words. You know, the continuity of, the, of this, you know, text that demands that these are also the sayings of the same woman. But people usually think that these, you know, things, they, these, these words appear to be coming from a very knowledgeable and a person who believes in Allah and everything, you know. And uh, that woman was not of that character or that level or that uh, stature. And these words, you know, they are befitting only for Yusuf, alayhi salatu was salam. So one way of interpretation is that Hazrat Yusuf said that I didn't want to expose these women. But I did want that, you know, I should be honorably acquitted. So that he knows, he should come to know who the Al-Aziz, the husband of that woman should come to know that I didn't betrayed him and betrayed his trust in his absence. And I very well know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to make the guile of the betrayer successful. At the same time, I don't declare my soul to be sinless and that it is all free from anything low. In the nafsala maratul su. Verily, the animal self in man commands him to something evil. In the nafsala maratum bisu. From here, you know, we drive the word nafsa mara. And that is not the self, the, the higher self. We have two selves within us the spiritual self and the animal self. The animal soul and the divine spirit. These are two different things. We have a composite existence. So now the baser self, as we call it, or in Freudian terminology, the id or libido, well, all these lusts and desires sensual gratification, they emerge from that baser self. So I don't, I don't absolve myself because the baser self in every human being urges him for something evil. Illa amar rahim rabbi, except the one whom the Lord has, you know, shown mercy. In rabbi ghafur rahim, verily, my Lord is forgiving and merciful. Now these words, you know, they are befitting to Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam. But some of the exegesis, they, because, you know, the continuity of the text that demands that these words are of wife of Al-Aziz. Maybe that during these 10 years, she, she might have been transformed. And she might have 
you know, reform herself. And this seems to be, most of the people believe in it, that although she had all the evil designs before that, but now 10 years had passed. And, and during this period might be that she had, you know, uh, she had made Toba, repented, reformed her, and she had become such a, to attain such level of knowledge. Maybe, we can't say. Now, this is to what I was referring by the context. Now, the, the, the proceedings of the court are going on. And Hazrat uh, Yusuf has not as yet come to the court according to this sequence of this ayat. Now, when all these things were cleared in the absence of Hazrat Yusuf in the court of the king, he said, Oh, bring him to me. I will reserve him for myself. Such a noble man, you know, such a such a person, such a man of a, such a high character. I will keep him with me exclusively. Falamma kallamahu, and when he came and they had a dialogue, qala inna kal yawm aladayna makinun amin. The king said, "Oh Yusuf, from this day you will be high in rank near us and a fully trusted person. You will hold a very high position in my court." Because Hazrat Yusuf now had, had the knowledge what is going to happen, what catastrophe is coming to, going to come to this land. So he said, Now put me in charge of all the storehouses of the land. I am the best keeper and I am a knowledgeable person. I, don't, I know how to manage things and I will do it, inshallah. So he knew it, and from here, you know, some of the ulama, they deduce that if a person knows that he can deliver the goods, he can, he can present himself, offer him himself for some office. Generally, it is believed that nobody should offer himself for an office, because to aspire for office is not good. It is really not good. If you are aspiring for any office or any position for your own sake, but if your intentions are, that you know the problem which is going to be faced, you have the know-how and the expertise and you can, you know, deliver the goods, then you shouldn't keep back, you know, and you should offer yourself. So this is the place from where those ulama, they take the argument and they infer. Because he said, Now place me in charge and authority over all the storehouses of the land. Inni hafizun alim. وَكَذَلِكَ مَكَّنَّا لِيُوسُفَ And this way, we establish Yusuf in the land. Enjoying authority as, when and where he liked. We bestow our mercy on whomsoever we like. And we are never going to let the reward or recompense of the good doers go in waste. And surely the recompense or reward of the Akhirah, of the hereafter, is much better for those who believe and who have, who have been fearing Allah, who have been having regard, regard, proper regard for Him.